Hi guys, welcome to, or welcome back to, Hydra Collectibles, where we let our geek flag fly. So, before I get started, full disclosure, I am not a gamer. Never really have been, doubt I ever truly will be. But this Christmas I finally gave in and bought my kids and my wife a Nintendo Switch. This was in large part due to my wife wanting to play Hogwarts Legacy, as well as giving the young kids the most user-friendly interface. I personally didn't care too much either way. Anyway, I came downstairs on Boxing Day morning to learn that we had a new game, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, which is a slightly different version to Let's Go Pikachu. Yep, my wife decided to go for a digital game at £40. Well, as you can imagine if you've watched this channel before, I wasn't all too impressed, but it was her money and her choice to do so. We are, after all, all different, and even in this household I fight a losing battle when it comes to physical media. Anyway, regardless of how we got the game, we now have it and it's highly addictive, full of nostalgic memories, and a great thing to share with the kids and bond over. It's genuinely good fun. Now yes, for an old Pokemon fan like myself, there are some upsetting differences, such as the inability to fight wild Pokemon. Yeah, you heard me right. You can't even fight the wild Pokemon in this game. All you can do is catch them. And this has likely been done in this way in order to appeal to those who have played the highly popular Pokemon Go game upon their mobile phones. And I have to admit, with the use of the Switch remotes and the catching mechanics, this is a lot more fun to do than the older versions. But then there's the biggest change, for me at least. There is no fishing rods in this game, meaning I cannot catch my favourite Pokemon Magikarp. Well I say he's my favourite Pokemon, he's not really. My favourite Pokemon is actually Gyarados, which as you guys know Magikarp evolves into. Now, you can still buy the Magikarp for $500 from an NPC in the Pokemon Centre before entering Mount Moon. And had I have known that the fishing rods weren't a thing anymore, I certainly would have done this. But alas, I am now too far ahead in the game to go back. Okay guys, so sorry to interrupt, just going to cut in here. Uh, while I was editing this video, my wife actually was playing the game and learnt of a way to return to Pewter City from where she was currently situated. So uh, yeah, knowing where that was in accordance to me and my version of the game, I of course took that long, long journey back to collect my Magikarp. Suffice to say, I am very happy. Anyway... Back to the video. So these in-game issues aside, my biggest problem with this game is where it all stands in the future. Now I fully understand that this is a me problem here, and most won't encounter or care about an issue like this. You see, over the last few days, we have built a great family bond here in regards to Pokemon. We have helped each other out with gameplay, we have shared memories, it's all been a really fun time. But this does however sadden and concern me. You see, here I have my DS, and on this DS is a copy of Pokemon Soul Silver. And saved upon this little game card is the Pokemon journey from this era of my life. It's a little time capsule, something I can revisit and share, as I have done so with my kids here this week, as we share in our newfound love of Pokemon. And it doesn't stop there, I can go back even further in this little time machine, because I also have Emerald and Fire Red from my Game Boy Advance, which fortunately I can play in this older DS. Heck, I can even go back to the beginning with my Game Boy Color and my original copies of Yellow and Blue. And with these oldest two in particular, I can show my daughter the very same game I played when I was her age, almost 30 years ago. It's all here, saved in this little cartridge. Now sure, the Switch has a memory card slot, but it's not the same, is it? It's not all self-contained and kept in one place to be revisited like this again in the future. Instead, this moment, this family bonding we have shared over the last few days, exists only now in this moment, with no true time capsule in place to look back upon with fond memories. Will my kids remember this? Is this a core memory for them as they embark on their first Pokemon journey? Will this be for them while it was for me playing these older games back when I was a child? Who knows? Maybe. I mean, we'll just have to wait and see. But at least, hopefully, they'll still have this video to look back upon and remember what it all meant to me. Thanks for watching.